Hello again everyone, Wayback Sports Cards, and we're here with a different video. We've done a few of these before in the past. I am going to show you a series of cards that I've just got signed through the mail over the last, I don't know, a few months. I haven't done a video like this in probably at least six months. And so you can see here, I got quite a large stack of cards that I got signed. If you follow me on uh, Instagram at Wayback Sports Cards, you've probably seen all these already. But I uh, wanted to quickly go through these and I can explain to you how I've gotten all these cards. I uh, use what's called, uh, it's SCF, Spart Sports Card Forum. You can look it up on Google and they keep a database of uh, players in all sports and, um, and people keep track of what they send and which ones are successful and who asks for money for, for signatures. And so what I've done is I've collected a lot of cards from box breaks and I send them out. You see here in front of you, Nick Price, uh, legendary golfer, signed three cards for me. A little, little smudged on there, but still three cards from the great uh, golfer there, Nick Price from Zimbabwe. Um, and I'm just going to go through ones that I've got here. Um, Art Howe, uh, former manager, former player, uh, played with the Astros and managed the, I believe managed the Astros, managed the Mets, the A's. Uh, featured in the Moneyball movie, but Art House signed a couple of cards for me. Uh, Gary Lucas, former pitcher for the Padres and the Expos, and I believe also the Angels, yep, signed four cards for me. I sent him the two 1984 Topps cards, and he sent me two more. So that was really kind of cool of Gary Lucas to do that. A um, couple cards here of Ernie Witt, former catcher with the, uh, most notably with the Blue Jays, was part of the original Blue Jay team in 77 and was the last player to leave the original Blue Jays uh, or last original Blue Jay to leave the team. But um, Ernie Witt, really cool, long time Blue Jay. Uh, we got a few from Danny Darwin, super underrated pitcher, never pitched in an all-star game despite, I think, winning one ERA title. But Danny Darwin uh, pitched the Red Sox for a while in the 90s. And a bunch of other teams, uh, Rangers, Brewers, Astros, and, and I know the Red Sox as well. So I had a nice long career. Uh, Danny Darwin, nice looking signature. Uh, recently got Larry Boa to sign a couple of 1980s uh, Fleer stickers for me. Great Larry Boa, over 2,000 hits. Uh, was it 1980 World Series MVP, I believe. Um or should have been the MVP, if, if memory serves. But Larry Boa, 2,000 hits, uh, Philly player, uh, then later became manager, coach with the Yankees, uh, baseball lifer, uh, also was on the Lost Ballparks podcast recently. If you like baseball podcasts, check that out. Great interview with Larry Boa. That was cool. We got uh, Bobby Labonte, great stock car driver, to sign a couple of his 1995 SP cards for me. These are all from the same set. Signed a couple of those for me. Really kind of cool there. Um, Hall of Famer, uh, Robert Blake. Rob Blake, the defender. Famous for his time there with the Kings. Rob Blake, NHL Hall of Famer. Um, if you collected cards in the early 90s, you probably know all about Rocket Ismail. The Rocket signed two cards for me. Put his number on it. Really cool looking autograph. Signed his uh, 94 Collector's Choice card. Uh, also got a few, three cards from Milt Thompson. Outfielder. Stuck around for a while there in the majors. Had a nice little successful run there with the Cardinals and the Phillies. Nice outfielder. This may be the, uh, the top. Bob Cousy. Legendary NBA Hall of Famer. Well into his 90s right now. I found this Celtics card and I sent it out to Bob. He, he personalized the card to me, to Anthony, and signed it Bob Cousy. He's still signing to this day. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to do that. So it's kind of a thrill to get something signed by the point guard legend of the Celtics. All those championship teams in the 50s and 60s. Bob Cousy. Um, a few from Steve Bono. Uh, known for his time as the backup behind Montana and Young in San Francisco, and then later became a starter with the Chiefs. I believe also made it to an AFC um, 
made the Pro Bowl team as well. So Steve Bono, a couple from Ben Coates, great tight end for the Patriots in the mid nineties, in the nineties all the way through to, I think, to the early two thousands. Um, so a couple from him. I sent him one. He actually sent me this one. I this is not my card, but he sent me an extra one. So it was very cool of him to do that. Um, we've got Merrill Hodge, the running back and fullback for the Steelers. Also was a broadcaster. You probably remember seeing him on ESPN uh, in the last 10, 15 years. So Merrill Hodge, really kind of cool to get him. Another stock car legend, Bill Elliott, famous for that, that 94 McDonald's car. And uh, there he is, two autographs from him. Uh, we got Cecil Cooper, uh, the great brewer, all-star, um, great hitter. But uh, Cecil Cooper, really cool. Signed on the stickers for me, too. Um, legendary Bobby Allison. He's a team owner here, but was a driver much earlier. Um, head coach, point guard Scotty Brooks. Um, coaching these days, but uh, famous for his probably his time coaching the Thunder a few years back when they had uh, Westbrook, Harden, and Durant. But uh, from his time playing with the Sixers and the Timberwolves, Hall of M NFL Hall of Famer Ozzie Newsome, awesome signing his ninety tops card. Thrilled to have that. Um, a handful of cards from David Segui, former first baseman with the Mets. And with the O's, this is his rookie card. Sign that one for me. Really cool. Uh, stock car legend, I should say. I mean, three signed from the King, Richard Petty. Signed three cards for me. Super awesome that he did that. Um, a few from golfer Mark O'Meara. Uh, won a major in the 90s there. Mark O'Meara. A uh, couple from David Toms. Uh, we've got Larry Nance, his son Larry Nance Jr. playing in the NBA these days. Great defensive player. Also a uh, famous dunker, Larry Nance. Look him up on YouTube, Larry Nance dunking. I think he's uh, famous for a couple of the dunk contests early on. So really cool. Signed a couple for me. Um, this one from Harry Carson. Giants linebacker, Hall of Famer. Um, this is the only one that I paid money for, and I sent him this card, paid five bucks, and he sent me this, and he also sent me this. If you look at the other side, the five dollar donation went to the New York City Coalition for the Homeless or the Community Food Bank of New Jersey, and he signed both for me. So, really awesome. I'm a huge Giants fan, so I'm thrilled, didn't mind paying the money for that. Uh, three from Justin Leonard. There's two of them. And then uh, the third one there. A uh, few more to go. We got Brad Faxon signed a few for me. Actually, three. And then the last one here. Former UNLV great, Nick player. Uh, played for the, I think, the uh, inaugural Grizzlies team in 95 96. Greg Anthony, now he's known as a broadcaster. So it was really cool. He signed his rookie card for me. And so there you have it. There's a stack of cards that I got signed in the last six months. And the only one that I paid any money for was the Harry Carson. I paid $5 for that. But all these others were just sent through the mail with self-addressed stamped envelopes, a uh, typed letter, and, um, and a couple of cards. I usually offer one. I put a few in and I offer some to the person signing. And oftentimes they return it, which is why I've got multiples. But check out Sports Card Forum uh, if you want to see... Um, Look up which players are signing through the mail and, and how frequently and how quickly they return their cards. But uh, definitely worth checking out. I plan on doing more. And when I uh, have some more cards, I will do another video in the next few months. But until then, thank you all for watching. And uh, happy hunting with the autographs. Best of luck to everybody. But um, that's it for today. So long, everyone. Take care.